Ontario Liberals choose their next leader at the end of November. Four hopefuls, though, are getting ready for a summer time of campaigning. There's Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie. There are two sitting MPs, Yasser Nakvi and Nate Erskine-Smith. And then there's my next guest, Ted Shu, MPP for Kingston and the Islands and a former federal MP for Kingston as well. Mr. Shu, good to see you. Well, thanks for having me today. So let's start, I guess, with the most basic question. Why do you want to lead the Ontario Liberal Party? I can help the Ontario Liberal Party win. And I think that it's, uh, it's very important to have somebody who wants to tackle the hard problems that people are facing. What brings me back to politics is uh, hard problems like the cost of living, housing, health care capacity, uh, mental health and addictions, education disruption, the disruption to our economy, and climate change. Uh, I want to work on these tough problems, and I want to use my experience to tackle them. And I know that I can help the Ontario Liberal Party uh, win a lot more seats in the next election because I've been able to win tough elections uh, when the party was losing. Right. Now, I guess the obvious question is, how would what you're proposing in your platform and what you want to do differ from what your party has offered uh, Ontario voters in recent elections where the progressive conservatives have won and the Liberal, Party's, uh, the Liberal Party has been third party? Well, it's, it's more than just the platform, and I think it doesn't start with the platform. It starts with earning the trust of voters. And if you get the trust of voters, then they will listen to what you're offering in terms of policy. Uh, the way that I've been able to win elections in 2011 federally and 2022 provincially, when uh, the party uh, was losing, is that I was able to connect with voters, uh, voters who lean in different directions, lean towards the NDP or lean towards the, the Conservatives or lean towards the Green Party. I'm able to connect to a lot of different uh, people. And um, that is the first step in, in earning trust. Um, I'm also very careful when I criticize the other parties. I try to be fair and respectful. And uh, even though I'm not so combative, that leads to trust. People believe me when I do criticize the other parties. So I think first it's trust and then it's policy. And if I can just mention a couple of pieces of policy, I've put out a a vision for housing. One of the things that I want to do is allow for more dense uh, middle market and mixed housing. I want to make sure that we don't follow Mr. Ford's plan, which is to pave over green spaces and, and use that to build more housing. On the economic front, we've been playing defense now uh, since the pandemic, protecting people from inflation and housing and, and the health care uh, crisis. Uh, but we can't just play defense. We have to play offense. And so my economic plan is, is about it's about growth. It's about how to uh, support people to be as productive as possible and how to support innovation and creativity in, uh, and growth in our economy. Okay, now I earlier mentioned your your other opponents in this race, including uh, most recently uh, Bonnie Crombie, the mayor of Mississauga. Uh, What's your plan for distinguishing your pitch to your fellow liberals who are going to be voting versus these other candidates and what they're putting forward? Well, one thing different about me is that I have a seat in the Ontario legislature uh, that the other three candidates, uh, officially registered candidates right now, do not the next leader is going to have to work very closely with the caucus. There is no money for a leader's office. Uh, we're, we don't have official party status. Uh, I have, ex- I'm the only one of the four with experience being the third party in the legislature. I have five and a half years of experience doing that. Whoever wins the leadership race is going to have to do the hard work for two and a half years leading a uh, caucus which is in third place in the legislature. I have, I'm the only one with experience in that uh, area. And I have a different background. I think people, you know, the Liberal Party actually got more votes than the NDP last time. So I think that the Liberal brand, it's people want to keep that. They want to keep that uh, equality of opportunity and the balance between fiscal responsibility and social progress. Uh, But they want to see a fresh start. And I represent a fresh start. I have a background that's different from anything that people have seen before. It's I have a background in science. I've worked in science. I've worked in uh, business as well. I managed a business line and I ran a sustainable energy association. And on top of that, I have the political experience that corresponds uh, to the job that we're running for, which is the leader of a party that needs to get out of third place 
and win as many seats as possible at the next election. And I know you're not in Kingston today, but that is is your hometown. And I know that you've uh, talked about that as being an important part of of your political career. Uh, The fact that you're from Kingston is not a small city by any means, but it's certainly smaller than uh, Toronto or Ottawa. And certainly those are really the big battlegrounds uh, in any Ontario election. But um, what do you think being from Kingston, for instance, uh, does for you to help uh, distinguish you as a potential leader versus politicians from Toronto or Mississauga or here in Ottawa? Well, I think the Liberal Party needs to be relevant in all parts of Ontario. Uh, it's not very strong now in uh, the the rural small town in northern Ontario. Kingston and the islands, uh, I have about 100 farms in my riding, so I need to listen to rural concerns. I have one of the most important military bases in Canada, CFB Kingston, in my riding, so I need to understand that community. Uh, I've got a mine in my community. So as well as university students, uh, we have a health regional health center. Uh, Kingston's population is quite diverse and the Liberal Party needs to be relevant in so many parts of the province uh, that it uh, hasn't been well connected to uh, for a long time. So that's, that's what I offer. The other thing I would say about Kingston is, uh, you know, your political adversaries in Kingston, you probably have friends in common. So I think you need to be fair and respectful when you're criticizing the other side. That's part of the style that I have, and I think that will help uh, going forward. I think that politics, do we need more polarization? Do we need more politicians uh, uh, attacking each other? I think we need politicians to solve problems, uh, to work together, to find common solutions. And I think it's important to criticize the other parties, but it's also important to do it in a fair and respectful way. I think we can make more progress that way. That's, I would say, a characteristic of the Kingston way of doing politics, and I think it will help Ontario. I am determined to win this leadership race and to show uh, that the that I can do politics uh, differently. Okay, Ted Chu, candidate for Ontario Liberal leader, thanks for your time tonight. Thanks for having me.